3.6. Yossi and Kevin soon realized that going by river was a big mistake. The river got faster and faster, and soon they were in rapids. The raft was swept down the river at an incredible speed until it hit a rock. Both men were thrown into the water. <coughs> Kevin was a strong swimmer and he managed to swim to land, but Yossi was swept away by the rapids. <coughs> But Yossi didn't drown. He was carried several kilometers down river by the rapids, but he eventually managed to swim to the riverbank. He was totally exhausted. By an incredible piece of luck, he found their backpack floating in the river. The backpack contained a little food, insect repellent, a lighter, and most important of all, the map. But the two friends were now separated by a canyon and six or seven kilometers of jungle. Three point seven. Kevin was feeling desperate. He didn't know if Yossi was alive or dead, but he started walking down river to look for him. He felt responsible for what had happened to his friend. Because he had persuaded him to go with him on the river. Yossi! Yossi! Yossi, however, was feeling quite optimistic. He was sure that Kevin would look for him, so he started walking upriver, calling his friend's name. Kevin! 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 But nobody answered. At night, Yossi tried to sleep, but he felt terrified. The jungle was full of noises. Suddenly, he woke up because he heard a branch breaking. He turned on his flashlight. There was a jaguar staring at him. Yossi was trembling with fear, but then he remembered something that he had once seen in a film. He used a cigarette lighter to set fire to the insect repellent spray, and he managed to scare the jaguar away. Three point eight. After five days alone, Yossi was exhausted and starving. Suddenly, as he was walking, he saw a footprint on the trail. It was a hiking boot. It had to be Kevin's footprint. Kevin! He followed the trail until he discovered another footprint, and then another. But suddenly, he realized that the footprints weren't Kevin's footprints. They were his own. He had been walking around in a circle. At that moment, Yossi realized that he would never find Kevin. In fact, he felt sure that Kevin must be dead. He felt totally depressed and on the point of giving up. Three point nine. But Kevin wasn't dead. He was still looking for Yossi, but after nearly a week, he was also weak and exhausted from lack of food and lack of sleep. He decided that it was time to forget Yossi and try to save himself. He had just enough strength left to hold onto a log and let himself float down the river. Kevin was incredibly lucky. He was rescued by two Bolivian hunters who were travelling down river in a canoe. 
The men only hunted in that part of the rainforest once a year, so if they had passed by a short time earlier or later, they wouldn't have seen Kevin. They took him back to the town of San Jose, where he spent two days recovering. <laughs> 